Well, earlier in the week, we told you about the shockingly low acceptance rate for African-American students at specialized schools all across the city. Tonight, the local leaders are demanding some action in all this. Yeah, we saw a rally today calling on the DOE to completely scrap the admissions test. Good son Jenna Harry was there and joins us live now in Lower Manhattan with the details. Hang on. It is a three-hour exam for middle school students, and yet it has opened up a searing political debate from New York City all the way up to Albany. So if we get rid of the specialized high school exam, what will replace it, and will it be fair? Assemblyman Charles Barron agrees with Brianna. He gives the specialized high school's admissions test a failing grade. Today, Barron rallied, speaking out about his proposed legislation. I have a bill, and Senator Parker has a bill in the Senate that simply says, Let's take the top 7% of all the students in middle schools. Stuyvesant, Brooklyn Tech, Bronx Science. Diversity at the elite public schools came into question after just seven African-American kids tested into Stuyvesant. The mayor and school's chancellor say it's time to drop the standardized admissions test. But Brooklyn dad Vita LaBella supports the exam. He blames the lack of diversity on the city. We should be holding the DOE and the city and the mayor accountable to make sure that all parents and all kids have the kind of a school education that they want and that's appropriate for them. State lawmakers will hold hearings in May to discuss the admissions process for the prestigious Father, schools. Heard from in our story, Vita LaBella, he's part of the parent teachers organization at the Krista McCullough School in Brooklyn. They're actually suing the city over their plan to diversify these specialized high schools, believing the plan will take away seats from their high achieving students. Certainly a lot of different voices in this debate. Reporting live from Stuyvesant High School in Lower Manhattan, Ayanna Harry, Pixel 11 News. All right, Ayanna, thank you so much.